Hello citizens of YouTube, this is the Geeky Nerd here, and today we're going to be talking about why the EOTech 512 is arguably the best optic overall for every situation out there. But before I begin though, I'd like to send a big thank you out to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed on the previous videos. I always appreciate it and always enjoy talking to you guys. But if you're new here to the channel, welcome. And if you enjoy this video, enjoy this type of content, please consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. And with the PR out of the way, we're going to get into it. So the EOTech 512, not a, a lot of people know it, a lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it, and some of you guys may not even know what it is. If you don't, stick around and really do a lot of research because it's a damn good optic. But with that being said, I truly believe that for almost every situation out there and almost every gun out there, uh, barring that you need a you know highly magnified optic, EOTech 512 ain't gonna go wrong. It's a, just a good all around. So I'm explain why. Um, the EOTech 512 itself is a holographic, some people call it a red dot, it's not really a red dot, it's technically a holographic sight that runs on AA batteries that's been around and battle tested. That's the long and short of it. And the gun that it is currently mounted on is my Assault Water Arms SW15, which if you guys want to see uh, kind of the review on this, check out the channel. It's a fully corrosion resistant stainless steel AR kind of built up from the ground. So EOTech 512. Being that it is a holographic sight, which what a holographic sight means is that instead of there actually being a little la uh, laser diode emitter shining directly to a piece of glass and then reflecting back to your eye, this is actually it's doing some uh, <laughs> doing some. I guess you would, some people would say German space magic, but uh, it actually has a laser diode right down there, or a laser emitter that is actually housed down here getting shined to a uh, mirror, getting shined up to a prism, getting reflected down into kind of a medium, and then shined directly into your eye. So it's basically bouncing around there to uh, meet your eye. You One nice benefit is when you're actually looking straight down from the uh, business end of the gun, which if you are, you, you know, wait for the flash and you probably won't have to worry about anything, um, The uh, you will not actually see any type of dot there. You will only see it once your eye is positioned. Being that it operates in that way, if the front glass ever gets cracked, then the optic will still function as long as the rear doesn't get cracked. And seeing as you're probably going to protect your face before you do your hands when in a uh, fight, it makes sense that if the rear, get, you know, front gets cracked, eh, it's more likely to happen. <laughs> um, this also has a uh, aluminum shroud. Uh, some of them are made of titanium, but it actually has that kind of protecting the. Uh, plastic piece. Now it is a uh, glass reinforced nylon, so it is a uh, it is a plastic, but it is a strong plastic, and this hood just kind of protects that glass inside. And it runs on two AA batteries. Now, the benefit of the holographic part is, and this is kind of again, I'm giving my reasons why it is the best overall optic for almost everybody out there, for almost every situation. Being a holographic, if anyone has astigmatism with their eyes, which is essentially, you're able to tell, and of course you should know by a doctor, but if you ever look at a red dot and it looks blurry to you guys, or it just seems like it's kind of star bursting, then you very well may have astigmatism. And so some people find that very distracting, uh, especially as some people age or get older, it gets worse. And with a holographic sight, you don't have that. Now, it's because instead of it being just a single dot and kind of project that out, it's actually, it's that whole refractory uh, piece I was talking about where it's shining into your eye as opposed to you kind of just seeing a reflection from a laser diode hitting a piece of glass and coming back to your eye. And uh, that's a good benefit for some people. Now, when you do look inside of this, you actually see it It almost looks a bit fuzzy. It's not really fuzzy, but it's it's a small cluster of dots arranged in a circle. They call it the EOTech Donut of Death. <laughs> uh, and that small cluster, yes, it may, not a, it may appear a bit fuzzy if you're looking directly at the optic. Now, or at the... Um, uh, at the actual reticle, I should say. Now, as these as these optics are designed, you know you shouldn't be looking at the optic in the first place. You should be looking at your target. Once you look at your target, it kind of goes in your sub peripheral vision, and it becomes clear. So you really should be looking at the target, not directly at the optic. So that's why some people say, "Oh, it looks fuzzy." It's like, well, you're looking at the uh, optic reticle. Darn it! <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say. Uh, the reticle itself. Now. That's a good benefit, um, and I like it. And the fact that the reticle is the EOTech Donut of Death, it's a circle with a dot in the center, uh, that basically, it gives you a broad range 
of uh, usability. The fact that you have the precision dot in the center and with, uh, with the circle, it kind of gives you a larger area to catch your eye. So whenever you're aiming at something. Now, additionally, whenever you use a magnifier with one of these, the dot size did actually not change. So a lot of people don't realize when you buy a red dot sight, when you ever buy a magnifier, that dot will increase by that magnification. So, you know, you have a 2 MOA dot, you have a 3X soap, you know, you're looking at a 6 MOA dot by the time you're looking through it. And, of course, you have to have, uh, um, you know, you have to have the right kind of adjustment and kind of the right <coughs> sizing and everything like that with a small tube in some instances. Now, with this, because it is a holographic and it is shining directly into your eye and not a reflection that it's getting magnified, it stays the exact same size, which is nice. Also, also, the reticle is very good for ranging. So, uh, you know, some people will say, you know, use the top of the donor for this, the bottom of the donor for this, and whatever you sight your, your gun in at, you can use that reticle to, to the top of the circle of that donor of death uh, to your advantage. Now, uh, another part that makes this kind of the best overall optic is the fact that it takes two standard AA batteries. Why is that great? Well, AA's, you know, probably arguably one of the most prevalent batteries out there. And being that, you know, if you're kind of getting this to be your one-all, be-all optic, you don't have to be finding, you know, hunting out for CR2032, CR123s, you know, uh, quad or yeah, quad A's, or any kind of weird batteries out there. Even you know, triple A's, double A's, prevalent and almost everywhere, and it will run on any of those. Now the trade-off, of course, because it's always good, you know, pros and cons. The trade-off is that the battery life on this is not, you know, like a fifty thousand hour one with the laser etc etc and that's also in part due to the holographic um nature of this site is it just chews through those double haze if using it on a continual basis however if you're using all those uh you know using all that charge it's not that hard to get some double a's and most uh you know pistol grips on ars allow you to put a double a couple double a batteries in there now um another piece that kind of makes this the best overall is it is a battle proven battle tested optic what does that mean EOTech 512 has been around for uh, quite a few years now, <laughs> um, before even my time, I think. And with that being said, it's seen a lot of combat and people have trusted their lives with it and people still do. And that's just something you can't, you know, you can't make up. You can't really replicate anywhere else unless it's done. And again, moving on next point here, just kind of laying it out for you guys. I mean, there, there's very little negatives to this site now. We'll say the big glaring one, it is a big optic. So it, it, it does kind of take up a lot of real space. And, you know, that's kind of good and bad because it's kind of iconic. So if you're into guns like me and you just like them looking cool, yeah, it, it's kind of iconic and looks cool. <laughs> um, another thing is that on the rear here, you can actually see it has uh, two buttons. So it has on off. So it doesn't have the whole, um, you know, momentary on the shake to wake function like six have or like the hollow suns have. But I find this as additional benefit. Here's my reason. Is that whenever you have those shake to wake functions, yes, the optic does last 50,000 hours. However, if you have it in a car or kind of, you know, your go bag or whatever, any type of movement, it's obviously going to turn on and it's going to drain your battery life. Now with the hollow suns, don't get me wrong, I love my hollow suns. With that, but with that being said, yes, it does drain down. And the fact that you have the solar panel and it compensates for it a bit. <clears throat> excuse me um now that's that's just like something you have to kind of pick on your own because some people say oh i don't care about shake to wake i kind of do i want to have my optic off unless i'm actually using it or you know be able to turn it on at a moment's notice and not have it be worn down excessively and so i actually like that um like the actual physical tactile buttons of the EOTech 512. Turn them on, you just, you know, you push the up and it'll stay on for eight hours. You push the down, it'll stay on for four hours and then auto turn off. So, you know, if you're, uh, <laughs> there's, there, there's been countless stories of people who, you know, they're using this, like I said, active combat situation, they'll have their EOTechs on and before they go in to do the little thing, they just touch any one of the buttons and then it resets that time frame. So, uh, that's just something to, to consider for you and turn it off. You just press both buttons, it's off. Now, another, final piece i'd say of why this is a great optic is it's waterproof most optics now are waterproof but very few are kind of tested as much as this this is like i'm not going to say military grade because i feel like that's <coughs> excuse me uh thrown around quite a bit uh for better for worse same thing you know tactical and all that fun stuff but uh it, you know 
people have kind of taken their optics and just thrown hell at them, hell at them a half of Georgia, and they came out on top. Now, I do want to just show you guys, I, you know, not to be for the, uh, you know, 100% bias here, one second. Da, 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 da. I do have, if we'll get in frame, I do have my uh, Hollow Sun right here, which, do you like this optic? It is good. Uh, it has a titanium hood, it's got the solar panel, uh, it's got the green reticle, don't know death, kind of copy from the EOTech originally, and it's great optic. But, is it the best optic? I'll still take this. And a part of it, I know people say you shouldn't care. I'm not an elitist or, you know, one of those kind of, you know, snobs that kind of crap on O-lights. I love the, I love my O-lights. Uh, main USA versus main China. That's, that's something that does make a difference that some people do truly care about. And, you know, I do too, seeing as if I had to get one optic, I'm just going to buy these. I mean, I shoot, I have three of these. This is act one. And it fits in almost every situation that I have ever found myself in. You put the magnifier on, boom, you got three to five, you know, X magnification. You take it in the water, okay, cool, no problem. You need your battery. It just, it just has never let me down and always fits every function and pretty much every gun out there. I mean, shoot, I had a buddy who would say he, um, and I'm sure he might be watching this right now, and in which case, if you do, hey. <laughs> um, he, he, he was saying he had a Remington, <coughs> excuse me, uh, 700 SPS, brand new, Ho green stock, and he said, hey, can I put a, uh, should, should I put my EOTech on it? I was like, what? I was like, well, could I put my EOTech on it? And, you know, I laughed at it at first, but then I kind of thought, I was like, you know, shoot, you could probably put your EOTech on it, and it probably would work, probably be okay. I mean, for, yes, it's a bolt action, yes, it's utilized fully, but I mean, shoot, <laughs> it'll work, and it might not look as wonky as you think, and sure enough, I went back home and uh, uh, took off one of my, uh, took off my Nikon BDC red, uh, scope, put, put, the, put, actually, this EOTech on there, and... Yeah, I'd use it. <laughs> uh, and that's just, that, again, that's just something, another staple point to the EOTech 512's, you know, staying power and just general usability. Now, <coughs> final thing is that, yes, I know there are multiple iterations, multiple versions of EOTech. They have XPS3, Green Dot, et cetera, et cetera. Those are all nice. Those do have their functions. However, I tend to shy away from because for the same footprint, you're pretty much just chopping this front part off. I'm losing the one feature that I find more beneficial, and that is the fact that it uses double A's. Yes, it is smaller. Yes, it is green, but I'd rather have double A's than having to chase down or find a CR123. Now, they are out there, but I'd just rather have some double A's. They're, you know, easy to find shit. At any moment, you know, God forbid, you, you know, you're in one of those, uh, you know, survival situations you see a TV remote sitting there, guess what? You got new batteries for your optic. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, and then also, I mean, if you need the night vision capabilities, yes, I can get that. But how many of us are rocking the quad nods? <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that, that's kind of my rambling speech here of why I have such a love affair with the EOTech 512 and why I'm going to continue to keep using them and more than likely put them on every single gun at the very end of the day. Uh, but if you disagree with me, you know, think of something different or you have a different opinion, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you stuck around this long, bless you. <laughs> um, but I hope everyone, everyone is having a wonderful, awesome, fantastic day and I'll catch you guys next time. See you guys.